Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about what happened to my wheels, and I'm not happy. I'm not happy, and be honest, I uh, I didn't expect to spend $500 on repairing wheels, but I'm gonna do it myself just so I can have the equipment and products on hand. So uh, let me get to the story. So I work at a dealership, and I was working on the rear brakes on the Supra. Um, my e-brake assembly exploded on my right side, so I decided to take my e-brake assembly off so I can buy all new stuff and replace it the next weekend. So after I did that, I got some um, anti-seize on my lug nuts and some of my wheels, and I, uh, I just wanted to wash my wheels off since the beginning of the weekend. There's a couple car shows I wanted to pull up to, and um, my car itself was clean, just not my wheels. So at my work, the Porter's Bays, I had citrus, there's citrus like wheel spray, which is like a non-acid wheel cleaner. And then there's acid wheel cleaner and they were sitting next to each other and they're the same color. So I was like, okay, that's citrus. You know, that's that citrus orange spray. I'm used to spraying that I've been spraying for four years, you know? So I grab it, I run around the whole car, get one wheel at a time. Then uh, I ran to go get the power washer real quick, come back, sprayed the first wheel, instant regret. I instantly knew I fucked up. I, um, the way, like, the way acid wheel cleaner reacts whenever you're spraying it on an aluminum wheel, it turns, like, foamy white. And that's a terrible sign, and it sat way too long, and it just ruined my work equip 40s. Um... I tried polishing them with a mother's cone and a mother's aluminum polish. That did absolutely nothing. Then I did some more research to see what I can do about it. And turns out I'm gonna have to sand them out then repolish them. So then I looked up a product called Zephyr. Zephyr is a, it's a big uh, aluminum polishing company that does like, they sell like a bunch of kits, you know, people people that professionally uh, like polish uh, gas semi tanks. Uh, I mean, they're chemically stained and they, they use their products and it gets them all out. But um, that's the route I'm gonna have to do with my works. And uh, sadly, I'm not looking forward to that. I would love to spend $1,500 on another set of work equips. I have another wheel I'd like to get anyway, just so I can get a different look for the next season. Um, I feel like my work, work equip 40s were a good starter wheel there. So my work equip 40 specs are 15 by eight and a half by like negative 31 and i just i want to change it up for the rear i feel like that's a small tire i'm running uh which it is a small tire i'm running a 205 50 and i kind of want a little bit more sidewall and a wider wheel in the rear um just for future goals so i can have a you know maybe a, a radial setup in the future we'll, we'll see but um got big goals for the super always of course the, the the build never stops everybody just Everybody, you know, has this goal for their car, and I'm still working towards it. So it's been five years as of today. That's why I want to make this video. Um, I'm going to show you guys the damage to the wheels, and um, we're going to try to fix it. Um, I'm going to I'm going to try to fix it. So I'm going to try my best, and uh, hopefully it fixes it. I mean, <laughs> hopefully it fixes it. Otherwise, I'm going to pay some other guy to do it. So I'm going to try it myself, then I'm going to try to show you how to do it. So these are my wheels. You can tell they're stained pretty bad. Um, the oxidization won't come up with any type of polish without sanding it. I started sanding this wheel, but I, I don't want to sand too much because not all the wheels ruined. I'm only going to do the trouble areas. The only reason I decided to go, uh, like decided to take them par apart and re-sand them and polish them is because the face has real bad chemical stains and that's very noticeable and I just don't like that. Uh, the work equips are really dear to me. A lot of people thought like I would never buy some legitimate wheels for this thing because I guess they thought I was poor. Turns out I'm not a broke boy. But um, I feel like if you're gonna get a, if you're gonna spend money on a car, it's gotta be sitting on some fancy shoes. So uh, I just, I could ignore this, but I'm not, I, I just can. I uh, I tried my best to polish it out because the last thing I wanted to do is take these three-piece wheels apart and polish them up and do all that because I've done that on my P-type wheels and it's just the result is just... I didn't get the result I wanted on those because, I mean, I didn't do it right. So now I have some insight and hopefully I can show you guys how to do it right. All of them. 
that corrosion popped up really fast, which these wheels were 10 out of 10 before I did this, which is super annoying. Just ruined the wheels. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take these apart, try to polish them up and uh, do my best. Like I said, uh, a lot of these stains won't even come out with polish. And uh, I spent like an hour on one wheel and it didn't do it a damn thing. There's the stain on that wheel. Just like I said, the face of the wheels is trashed. Not even the face itself, it's just the face that you'll see that mounts the three piece wheel together. Like I said, dude, I just super disappointed. So yeah, I'm gonna end this video here. I just wanna assess the damage on the wheels. The wheels are fixable. I, I do have the knowledge to fix them. I just didn't have the equipment to do it. I bought a Milwaukee grinder that goes to like 13,000 RPMs and I bought three different wool wheels with through Zephyr. I'll actually put the kit I bought in the description below. The Zephyr kit looks legit. I mean, I've seen videos of them actually using them on chemically stained trucks and it does phenomenal. And I'm actually really stuck in those. If those wheels turn out really good, I'm gonna actually polish up my five MGE valve covers and I'll probably, so I have a parts car that's my buddy's on, on the side of the house. I think I'm gonna yank those two and try to polish those because I bet somebody will pay a fair amount for polished five MGE valve covers. So if you need those, I'll let you know. Uh, give me some time on those, of course. Let me let me see how the product works on these wheels. Then I start, I'll start digging around with other projects. I know this is a terrible way to break this news, but <laughs> I got my LLC for my detailing business. And of course, I don't want to break the news to the people that follow me for detailing and my business to find out that's how I got my LLC because I fucked up my wheels detailing my car, but I really wasn't detailing it. I was just cleaning my wheels. So not like that. Not at all. Um, so yes, I did get my LLC for retro auto detail. That is my business. So I have goals to tent. I want to detail. I actually am really good at detailing. I have the equipment and all the products to detail anything. I have clay bars, uh, cutting polishes. I mean, all you need, foam pads, microfiber pads, tool pads. All I need now is a rotary buffer. I have a DA. Uh, it gets the job done, but I don't really polish too often as it seems. Um, but my biggest struggle right now is getting the barn renovated. So the renov like, so the barn in the back of my house is a 20 by 40 barn. It is a hundred year old barn, but my goals with the barn is to turn it into a hundred year old barn to a functioning shop. I want to be able to have a lift in there. I want to have epoxy floors. I want white, I want white aluminum siding walls. I want to insulate it. I want heaters in there. I want a TV in there and a couch, and I think uh, it's gonna be super dope and it's done. Like I said, I'd hate to break the news that I got my LLC for my detailing business this way, but I do have my LLC. My goals also with the business is to part some cars out. I'm uh, I'm a big fan of all cars. I love I love my Supra. I love uh, you know I love old BMWs. I love other old Toyotas. I love some Nissans. I'm not a big Nissan guy. I work at Nissan. Uh, that's probably why I'm not a big Nissan guy, but. Uh, I like money and I'm about my money. So uh, I do I do park cars out on eBay. I uh, I did I did just start and I do notice a huge market for old super stuff, old Z car stuff, 350 Z stuff, FRS stuff, BRZ. I mean, any super generation has value. Everything has value. So I'm gonna try to hop on that train, get on tinting, and stick with detailing, and hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. I will get an employee hired to help me out because I am a busy guy. I do work a full-time job and I do it, you know, just like everybody should. Everybody's got to have a hustle. You know what I mean? Uh, you can't fake it till you make it. That's just not, that's not real. That's not real. I'm telling you that that's a mental trick. You know, you want to buy the, you want to go out to eat all the time thinking you're rich. You're not, you're still making 40 K dog. You're not cutting it. Don't get me wrong. You start somewhere. But the goal is the moon. We're going to the moon, doc. Just like Dogecoin. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you for watching. And trust me, I know what I'm doing. I just was rushing, okay? I fucked up. People fuck up.